First thing we need to do is to get our shifter back here all the way to give us room to get our panels off. Here is remove this silver bezel around the shifter that you see here. Uh, panel and we got wires on the switches and we'll leave the other switch on because we can just put that panel out of the way next thing we got to do is to remove this silver panel right here Okay, there we go. Got that out of the way. Next thing we're going to do is remove this little piece right here. A little cubby there. It's held in by two seven millimeter headed screws. Get that out of the way. Next, we have to remove this piece right here with the heater controls on it. It's held on by four seven millimeter headed screws here, 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 and here. I removed three. Here's the last one. Pop this out. Like so. Boy, look at all the wires we got there. Well, we can just leave all those wires there. They're not going to be in our way. Next thing we need to do is remove the control head. It's held on by two seven millimeter headed screws. I'm glad they're all the same size. That makes it easier. Not looking for different sockets. Now. We're going to disconnect our connector here. There's a little blue piece that we lift up. Now we can squeeze the lock in. And get that out of the way. Next thing we got to do is remove this piece right here. And we got two seven millimeter headed screws. Okay. We got clips. All right, we got wires. Now we can leave that piece right there. Now you can see that the radio is held on by four seven millimeter headed screws. Here's the last one right here. This is the one we've been looking for. And we can slide our radio out to this point. And of course we've got electrical connections on the back. Here are the connections on the back. And there's little locks right here on the ends. And we'll push those down with our thumb.
I'll remove those. All right, we got those out of the way. And we got this one right here. And we got to release that, which I just did. And we slide that back. And there's a connector all out. radio is all out. So that's all there is to removing a radio from your Chevy Cruze.